Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday and we have chapter 13 to work on. I have a new backdrop, my new home, but we're going to go ahead and read through chapter 13 together. For chapter 13 and 14 and most likely 15 and 16, we will not be doing the comprehension pages. We're just going to be reading for fun and for enjoyment. So I want you to make sure to just listen and enjoy every ounce of this story because it is a beautiful story. It's fun. Here we go. Remember, as we read, we track the print. We have our finger follow along. And even though we might not be doing the comprehension pages, boys and girls, we always keep a pencil in our hand just so that we can, you know, circle words we might not know or underline key ideas that you want to remember for next time. Here we go. Trouble in the tunnel. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder what that's going to happen. Did Worm just speak to me through his thoughts? Drake didn't know what to think, but he had a feeling those words of warning had come from Worm. Drake, what's the matter? Anna asked. It's, I'm, I'm not sure, he said. What would they think if I told them that I heard words in my head? Worm doesn't want to go. Fine, stay here. Be a big chicken, Rory snapped. I didn't say I was staying, Drake shot back. I'll come along without Worm. As soon as he said it, Worm crawled out of the cave. Look, he's coming with us, Anna said. Drake didn't hear any more words in his head. Maybe Worm had changed his mind. Rory led Vulcan forward. Let's get moving. They headed into the long tunnel that led outside. The torches on the walls weren't lit, and their candles weren't doing much to light things up. Kepri can light the way, Anna said, but before she could give the command, Rory cried out, Look! Drake craned his neck, I'm kind of craning my neck, to look around the drag, oh, I'm sorry, I lost my spot. Drake craned his neck to look around the dragons in front of him. Then he saw it. A glowing red orb floated toward them. It grew bigger and bigger as it got closer. That looks like wizard's magic, Anna cried. But it's not Griffith's magic, said Bo. It feels scary. Just then, Vulcan let out a loud roar. His big tail thrashed back and forth. Calm down, Vulcan, Rory yelled. But her dragon was very upset. Whack, whack! Vulcan's tail banged against the sides of the tunnel. His big body slammed against the walls. Kepri and Shu cried out. They both turned, I mean, they both tried to turn back. Only Worm stayed calm. The tunnel began to shake. Dirt fell from the walls. The dragon masters all looked at one another. Run! Drake yelled, but it was too late. The walls caved in around them. Oh no, boys and girls, that does not sound like something that is a good idea. Maybe that's what Worm was trying to warn, warn Drake about. But we'll find out next time. See you later.